All right, so on to the microphone tests. Here is the GoPro out of the box. It's got a side panel here with inputs. Uh, yeah, that's one minor complaint about the GoPro. This input area has a door that, that snaps in there, but it's not attached to the GoPro. So it's small and easy to lose. And guess what? Yup, I lost it. So that's one minor complaint. And people say, oh, well, you know, you just need to put it inside the waterproof case and snap it shut, and then it'll stay in there and you never lose it. Only after opening and closing this thing only about 12 to 15 times, the clip that's supposed to be on here, some of the plastic on the clip, frayed. So it's basically broken now. So yeah, that's another minor complaint. Now I have to buy another waterproof case and a side panel door. But you know, I would recommend getting like a alternate case and only using the waterproof case when you're going underwater because apparently it's very fragile. It's easy to break the clip that locks the door. But anyway, so anyway, here's the side panel and you got a microphone adapter wire. So this snaps into here, snap it right in like that. And then you have the microphone wire. You put this male into this female, like this. There you go. This unravels to be, you know, longer than this. It's tied up right now. Here's a lapel that clips to your shirt. And uh, here are your uh, microphones. ETM001, ETM008. Indoors, outdoors. So you take one of these two microphones and put this male and that female, like so, boom, and voila, your microphone is ready to roll. So now, uh, on to the uh, sound tests. We're going to switch to the GoPro, GoPro feed. All right, I'll see you on the GoPro flip side. All right, this is a sound test we'll use driving in the car as a sample. What you're hearing right now is the microphone, the internal microphone of the GoPro. How it sounds about a foot away from me. Testing, one, two, three. This is the regular GoPro sound. switch up to uh, one of the microphones. The 001, this is the indoor microphone. So, okay, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And here comes the microphone. All right. Now I got the microphone plugged in. This is how it sounds when I'm holding it right in front of me. This is the sound quality. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. All right, now I'm going to clip the microphone to my shirt or seatbelt or something. Let me see. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. All right. So this is the microphone. Now I'm unplugging and going back to default. Yeah, that's the difference. That's the difference. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the 008, which is supposed to cut down on background noise. 
which you'll hear a lot of right now. You hear a lot of that, right? The, the, the rumble. Let's see how this microphone does. The 008 noise reducer. Plug it in now. All right. Yeah. It's plugged in now. Check, check. Testing, one, two, three. Is there a lot of background noise now? Is there a lot of rumble or is that all gone? I guess I'll find out when I play it back. All right, that concludes that test. All right, this is the second part of the sound test. I wanted to try the uh, noise reducing uh, microphone, the ETM008 just to see if it really does what it's supposed to do. So that's what this test is gonna be. I am right next to a busy uh, highway here, so let's go check it out. Okay, so uh, you could probably hear the cars whirring by, right? All right, now I'm going to switch to the noise reducing microphone right now and see how this works. Check, check, one, two, three, test, test. All right, this is me with the noise reducing microphone standing right next to a highway. And how's the sound doing? Can you hear me? Testing, one, two, three. How's that noise? All right, we'll see how this worked out. Thanks for watching and thanks for joining me on this microphone test.